Part 284, C3M, 1B7, C3. It's line 22, F1, F8, 19, C3M, 1B7, C3. These RF cavities, line X, LHC, quadruple, magnets, 5G. Well, shady. Put my glasses on here. So there's the alien radio signal there. Sorry. This is a keyword research video. So I'm researching keywords from all these other videos. Um, line 22, F1, FA, 19C3M, 1B7, C1. Laser X-ray, beam, exon, atoms, energy, UFO, camp, 5G, well, city. And line 22, F1, FA, 19C3M, 7C2, exon, xenon, X-ray detector, Higgs signal, electrons, 5G, well, city. Okay. So the keyword to Google from the data in the PDF. Um, in the last video, I kind of ran out of battery power, so I kind of went through it really quickly. And that's because I knew I was going to be doing it in the next video. <laughs> okay, so the low energy electrons, these, plus the N2O molecules, strands, biomolecules, atmospheres, dark matter, particles that change because of the atmosphere they are collided in, and OH radicals. So low energy electrons are these. July 2007, low energy electron storage ring with tunable compaction factor. This is a uh, PDF quote, okay? So a low energy electron storage ring is designed to have many desirable properties such as varying momentum, compaction factor, damping partition numbers, favorable betatron tunes for multi-turn accumulations, and excellent dynamic aperture. The storage ring can be used for debunching RF line neck beams in one term for compression of line at pulses and more importantly for a compact photon source based on inverse Compton scattering of laser beams. Okay, so the keyword to Google is RF line at beams and another PDF came up. RF line X particles accelerate on a linear path with RF cavities, main use of line X, low energy injectors, high intensity proton beams, high energy lepton. The Google link, December 1st, formula from the data on the RF line X CERN link. RF line X structures, CERN, accelerator, particles, linear path. Linear is an ongoing repeating keyword for the last 40 videos or so with all these concepts and formulas in line 22 while wow, alien radio signal data. RF cavities, line X, low energy injectors, high intensity proton beams, high energy lepton. So I'm going to Google the RF cavities. And this little diagram comes up. It says it's a voltage generator induces an electric field inside the RF cavity. Its voltage oscillates with a radial frequency of 400 megahertz. The protons always feel a force in the forward direction. There's the protons. Protons never feel a force in the backward direction. So they don't feel this force, they just feel this force. And there's the protons in the LHC. RF cavities. The main role of the RF radio frequency cavities is to keep the 2808 proton bunches tightly bunched to ensure high luminosity at the collision points and hence maximize the number of collisions. They also deliver radio frequency power to the beam during acceleration to the top energy. Superconducting cavities with small energy losses, synchrotron radiation, and large stored energy are the best solution. The LHC uses eight cavities per beam, each delivering 2 MV, an accelerating field of 5 MVM at 400 megahertz. The cavities operate at 4.5 K. The LHC magnets will use superfluid helium at 1.8. Okay, so that's LHC-closer.es. Okay, so there's a picture of it. For the LHC, cavities are grouped in four cry cryomodules with two cryomodules per beam and installed in a long straight section of the machine where the interbeam distance will be increased from the normal 195 millimeters to 420 millimeters. These things are massive, eh? Every proton passing through the RF cavities is affected for 2.8, 2 times 8 MV equals 16 MV. So it receives an extra energy of 16 MeV. Since every proton goes around 11,245 laps per second, the total energy received per second is, wow, okay, so that gives you the calculations there. <laughs> uh, so 6.5 TeV, from one we can calculate the length of time required to accelerate the beam to full energy. Sorry, my arm's getting sore from holding this camera up. Um, 
the right result is about 20 minutes. The reason for this difference, at least part, is that protons are not fully affected by the total voltage of the cavity, so more time is needed. More important is to keep the bunches compact to increase of the chances of a collision. We define the harmonic number as a ratio of the par particle revolution period to the period of the accelerating RF voltage changes, and there's the uh, calculations there. Ouch. Sorry, my arm's just... I was holding up my manuscript and reading it, and I think I hurt my arm. LHC-closer.es. Okay. So line X, I googled that. Quotes from Wiki. A linear particle accelerator, often shortened to line X, is a type of particle accelerator that greatly increases the velocity of charged subatomic particles or ions by subjecting the charged particles to a series of oscillating electric potentials along a linear beam line. Linings have many applications. They generate x-rays and high-energy electrons for medicinal purposes and radiation therapy, serve as particle injectors for higher-energy accelerators, and are used directly to achieve the highest kinetic energy for light particles, electrons and positrons for particle physics. The design of a line act depends on the type of particle that is being accelerated, electrons, protons, or ions. Line act range in Line act range in size from a cathode ray tube, which is a type of line act, to the 2 mile, 3.2 kilometer long line act at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory in Menlo Park, California. Now, SLAC's come up before as well. The line act within the Australian synchrotron uses radio waves from a series of RF cavities at the start of the line act to accelerate the electron beam in bunches to energies of 100 MeV. So the schema of a linear accelerator, it's got, oh, I can't even read this stuff, it says beam and drift tubes and RF source and it's got E something there. Oh, I can't read that, sorry, but you get the idea. Um, there's the schema of a linear accelerator. Quadrupole magnets surround the line X of the Australian synchrotron are used to help focus the electron beam. Let's see these guys here. So just remember first my thoughts. The keyword quadrupole magnets. We use magnetic plasma, x-rays, obsidian glass, and the wow alien formulas in lines 22 to power the UFO spaceship's engine. So here's the quadrupole magnets with north and south charges. Four bar magnets configured to produce a quadrupole. See, they're all together in the shape of a cross. My thoughts. Many pole magnets come up in the formula. What happens if you change the four bar quadrupole magnets to with mini poles. Keyword Google quadrupole mini pole magnets in the next video to see what happens. Thanks for watching.